couple of days ago, a black actor no one's ever heard of said that a couple of white guys wearing Trump hats uh, stalked him and beat, th- beat him and put a noose around his neck all at 2 a.m. in Chicago when the wind chill factor was minus 17 degrees below zero. Even the president of the United States felt compelled to, to tell everybody that was the worst thing that could ever happen to anybody. He was compelled to pretend as if he believed it. Now, let's compare that treatment of that story with this story that actually exists on video where black people are stalking, beating, assaulting, threatening, torturing white kids every damn day at this high school in Centennial High School in Las Vegas, Nevada. They revealed that there's a gang of students at Centennial High that have been targeting other white students while on school property. This family hoping that by sharing their story, it'll put an end to this so-called schoolhouse gang. Where are you? Where are you? A student at Centennial High says a schoolhouse gang forced him to fight on camera not once, not twice, but three times. The kid throws my son on the floor and is stopping him all in the head. Sherry, who doesn't want to be fully identified, says the school suspended her 16-year-old son last week for a fight in the bathroom. But after looking into it, she learned that the entire week he was being targeted by a gang of 15 to 20 black male students. His good friend told me that they target um, white kids only because they feel that they're weak. Sherry's son says his problem with the group started after they attacked one of his friends. My friend got jumped by them and they took his shoes. He shared his dismay over that attack on social media. And the next day, he says several teens from the group circled him in the locker room right before gym class. They said, I'm, we're going to give you an option. You can go out and fight us in the hallway, or you can do it, or we can just jump you and get you right here in the locker room. And the day after that, he says the same group made him fight again. The final video recorded in the school bathroom shows him fighting yet another member of the group. And this is the final one. This is, is that one of the same students from the other video? No. So this, these are three different people? Yeah. Angry. Very angry. And um, helpless. He got hurt. And nobody was there to help him. We reached out to CCSD asking if they were aware of this group of alleged bullies and what they're doing to protect students from them. They sent us a statement saying in part, School administration and school police are aware of the matter and appropriate action will be taken. CCSD investigates every reported case of bullying and takes appropriate action. I would um, like anybody that has been victimized by them to please come forward. Now, CCSD police tell me that they have issued criminal citations to several of the students involved. That means those students will have to appear in a juvenile court. Of course, CCSD encourages anyone who is being bullied or who witnesses uh, bullying taking place uh, to report it to a responsible adult. See, that's why I don't like doing hypotheticals. They're so unpersuasive when we have real contrast, real stories about the total double standard. Please, sir, I want some more. The total disregard for this enormous level of black on white violence all over the country, especially in schools. This is also an occasion for another reminder. If you send your white kid to school with a bunch of black people, they are going to be targets for this kind of thing, which is exactly what we've documented all over the damn country many, many times before. But now this reporter decides it's just a case of bullying. That is all it is, bullying. which might not be accurate, but at least it won't make any black kids angry.